Hey everyone, how's it going? So today we're going to go over the TNVC Night Vision Adapter GoPro Hero Cam for the GoPro Hero of cameras. Uh, so this will work with any Hero 4 camera. Uh, you're going to need a couple things to install this and to make it work. And I'm just kind of go, going to go over the unboxing, things I like, things I don't like about it. And uh, I'll do an install too while I'm talking about it. So first things first is it comes in this uh, plastic case, uh, this little plastic boxing. Now, they ship this in a bigger uh, cardboard box. The only problem I have with that is when I got this product, this case was actually opened up and all my product was kind of just floating around in the box. So I'm not sure if that's whoever's fault, but it could have been packaged a little bit better uh, as far as this goes, because it's very chintzy to open. But that's not an issue considering some of the stuff in here is military grade equipment and the inside of a box shouldn't really harm it. So the plastic case that it comes with, it just has a little foam padding on the inside and it just press fits in there. Let's move that out the way. And then it has your instructions inside. So you got the front face, you open it up and it tells you all the instructions on how to install it, which I'll go over to uh, and uh, I'll do it in the video. And I really like this. They actually put their recommended settings on this side. So I actually went through and used a lot of the GoPro settings and kind of messed around with the videos and pictures. I would still highly suggest everything that they recommend. It's definitely by far the best image. You're gonna get the most night vision on the screen without any you know, black areas and uh, just follow their the recommended settings. It's here right now, so if any of you wanted to go ahead and take a look at it, this is what they recommend using and what I would personally recommend using. And then on the back, it's just more kind of of the same stuff. So let's go ahead, going up front. So I'm not sure if it's supposed to come in three pieces, but mine did. So this little plastic piece actually came off the Wilcox filter. Again, I'm not sure if this is what's supposed to happen or if it happened during shipping but it's a fairly simple solution it literally just press fits back into it and uh it'll be fine i don't have an issue with it it's a very snug fit in there and it's not going to come off when i'm using it because the camera is also holding this back and then you have the plastic ring now and with the nice little tnvc bird logo there i don't know if you can see it but this was a kind of a collaboration. I'm not sure if it, if it still is, but it was a collaboration between Unity Tactical and TMVC. So, and the product cost, I believe $425. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm gonna put a link down in the description below on where you can purchase this from T, straight from TMVC. So there are a couple accessories that you're gonna need. You're obviously gonna need your GoPro. Uh, you're gonna need a case, which should come with your GoPro as well as a screw, which again, should come with your GoPro. You can buy the whole set straight from TMVC with the different GoPro options. Uh, they offer it with the Hero 4 Silver and the Hero 4 Black. Uh, I already had a, a Hero 4 Black, so I went ahead and just got the, uh, the adapter. So let's go ahead and install it. We're gonna install this on my, my BNVD. So the first things first, is to make sure you have these little rings. I'm not sure what their name of them are, but they're so you can actually use Wilcox Amber filters and they just click right in. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the ring and you're just gonna slide it over. Now with my BNVD, it's a little difficult because of the gain knob on the side. It makes contact in it with it. So when I have this installed, I can't adjust the gain. So what I'll probably have to do is just shave off a little bit of portion, just kind of sand it down so I can adjust it. Obviously that's for my BNVDs, it wouldn't happen with any other system. And then you're gonna take your, uh, the Wilcox beam splitter, and this goes and just snaps right in there. It's a very firm press, it's not gonna come off. And then from there, and you're gonna apply, if anybody's curious, you're gonna apply uh, pressure straight down not to the side not walk it around just straight down and it'll click right in and as you can see I'm picking up the night vision and shaking it about and it's not coming off 
from here, I would probably adjust it so I get the a clear, uh, you know, focused level screen. And then I'm not going to tighten this down just yet. You're going to take your camera case, and what I do is I actually push it onto. I try to push it onto both, but it's a little difficult sometimes. So you want it to go right onto here first and then with your the ring kind of just rotate it a little bit and press in so this way I can just kind of avoid a step yeah, it's better if you take it off actually so instead of putting the, the case in with it just kind of rotate it out a bit and you want to make sure that the little wing is level and you don't drop the screw like I just did but you're going to go ahead and put it in And you're actually gonna, what I do, the screw with, that comes with the GoPro is a little on the short side. So you're actually gonna have to apply pressure this way and this way and kind of tighten it down at the same time. Otherwise the screw won't connect. So you wanna get this nice and tight. So snug it right up and you should have still free motion of the, the camera case. Now from here, you don't wanna tighten the ring in just yet. You wanna take the case and just kind of fit it right onto the uh, the amber filter, the beam splitter, and then you're going to take a size a size two Allen key and snug up the bottom of the ring. Now people are probably going to say, "Oh, I always use Loctite on everything." I would not use Loctite on this. Um, your night vision doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room to. Uh, and, and a whole lot of vibrations for that screw to come out. So I would just give it a nice little snug and also this ring is plastic. So it's nice and snug up now. I'm not gonna have any issue with it. And once you pop your camera in, I would go, if you have the silver, look on the screen, make sure everything's good to go. If not, then just simply loosen this up and adjust it a bit. Or if you have the black and you don't have the LCD screen, go on the GoPro uh, app and look on there and double check so some of the accessories I would include on here would be if you're running a bino system definitely pick up another uh, another amber filter to put on there because I don't know if you can see right now but it adds quite a bit of length to the uh, the whole system without or uh, so if you ran without this is where one eye would sit and the other eye would be literally about an inch higher. So if you have the amber filter, you know, you get the same color image out of both. So it's not like somewhat disorienting, which I've used this with and without the extra amber filter. And I definitely prefer it with because it can get a little disorienting without it. So from there, the only other accessory I would say to get is to get a, a nice strong rubber band and put it around the case. This isn't needed at all. To put it around the case and to make contact with your nods because as much pressure as this can go forward this way towards uh, towards the adapter would be the best because it will capture the most image and it will allow the camera to focus a little bit better on a flatter image as opposed to it being kind of on an angle. So once you're done with that, you're, you're all set to go and record with your night vision. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to make a hard cut to, uh, some video of me using this and you guys can tell me what you think and, uh, see how the video looks straight from the GoPro. So here we are in my backyard with the TNVC, uh, night vision recorder and I'm just kind of looking out to the trees right over here. It's about, um... say 25 yards in front of me so it's not very far and then we have right down there that uh, white crate that's about uh, 50 yards or so and then down there by the street it's kind of hard to see with all these bushes basically in front of this house right here uh, that's probably about 100 yards so yeah you can kind of see uh, everything I can come close 
Let's see if I'll just look at the ground. And I can focus in towards the ground. You can really kind of see that. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on the camera, but I'm trying. You probably hear uh, a light whine, and uh, that's actually not really audible to my ears, but it's only audible to the camera's ears. So let's go ahead and just adjust this back. Now the one thing I do not really enjoy about the TNBC recorder is that it degrades a lot of the light. So we'll go over here and uh, you can kind of see some of the auto gating because I have a, we have an infrared camera here in the backyard, but uh, you can kind of see some of that. But it really de uh, degrades the, the light. Uh, so this is pretty much right at the end of dusk becoming night. So it's about it's about uh, 8 o'clock, 8.30, somewhere around there. So it's pretty dark. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to give you a quick uh, view through the tube. Uh, obviously, this is probably the most important part of the, the night vision recording uh, segment is actually looking through the tube. But I plan to get a lot of, uh, I'm just going to adjust this a bit. I plan on getting a lot of uh, footage through this, so it should be pretty cool, pretty neat. Just wanted to do... Uh, the end of the review basically. So yeah, here's that. It's backyard, some of the wooded area, back of the fence, uh, my neighbor's house, some cars, and uh, yeah. So now that you saw some some footage straight from the GoPro with the uh, TMVC adapter, I just want to go over and just kind of talk about my thoughts and opinions on it and things I like, things I don't like about it. So the first thing I don't like about it is the packaging. I'd really like to see that changed uh, so everything doesn't come all, all uh, kind of mismatched inside of a cardboard box for them things to get broken. Because this is an expensive uh, adapter for night vision because we all know night vision is not cheap at all. The other thing I'd like to see added would be the Allen key to install the screw. Most of the time whenever you buy things from these high dollar companies, you're gonna get the tools needed to install your item. Uh, it's it can be quite annoying to to get this pack to, package that you paid all this money for to then go out to the hardware store and get the tools to put it in, especially something simple like this. And the last thing I would like to say I uh, I would like to see improved would be as you saw in the video. Part of the side of the video is actually cut off. Now I contacted TNVC and I asked them if this was kind of uh, an issue with mine and if I can replace it. They contacted me back and said it's a thing with the amber filters and it's pretty normal for it to happen. And actually I think I looked back at the TNVC footage and some of it was also cut off. So again, that's not TNVC's fault. This is still a great mount. I would just like to see if we can remedy that problem somehow whether through Wilcox or if TMVC can uh, figure that out or if anybody can uh, mod the inside of this to make it work. They did recommend me adjusting the, the back lens and they said that might help. So that's the only thing I would, uh, I would ever ding this for. Modifications that I would do, uh, as you saw with the, the rubber band and I'm probably gonna have to actually shave off a little bit right here so I can adjust the gain on my BNVDs. I didn't say that for a, a con considering that's only for the BNVDs and it's just inherent with how the this design was and uh, as this is probably meant for like a PBS 14. And the uh, things I really like about it is how clear the, the image actually comes through on the GoPro. Uh, the price point, the value is outstanding. You're gonna pay close to $7,000 for the other recording system on the market to get probably a third or a quarter of the image quality. And it, you're gonna have a big bulky system on your helmet so it's gonna be difficult to run like, uh, like Mantis strobes and, and kind of all the other cool guy shit. Or even a, a battery pack in case you're running Anvis. So, this is definitely the best recording on the market. Hands down, 10 out of 10, the only thing that I would recommend as far as recording system goes. Now I have seen some recording systems coming up soon as this is kind of like the, the new, the next big thing for, uh, for night vision is recording. 
and recording through them. I, I can't wait to see what comes in the future and what people could come up with. Um, as far as right now, as it stands, the TMVC GoPro Hero Adapter for night vision is the only option, in my opinion, for night vision. Uh, I'm going to put a link down in the description below for you know where you can buy this. Uh, TMVC, as I said before, this comes in many options, so you can actually buy it with the, the camera and the adapter, the GoPro Hero Silver and the GoPro Hero Black, or you can just buy the mount itself, which is what I did because I already own the GoPro. But I'm going to put a link down in the description below to that. Uh, I'll put a link down to TMVC's Facebook and their Instagram, as well as my Facebook and Instagram, where you can go ahead and like my page and follow me on Instagram. I actually post Instagram pictures a lot more than I go and make videos, and you'll see a lot of cool stuff on there. Definitely go ahead and, and give me a follow and, and give me a shout out. Put a uh, comment, you know, if you have any questions or comments, you know where to leave them. Make sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.